Chapter 22 Ahaziah Rules in Judah Then the people of Jerusalem made Ahaziah, Jehoram's youngest son, their next king, since the marauding bands who came with the Arabs had killed all the older sons. So Ahaziah, son of Jehoram, reigned as king of Judah. Ahaziah was twenty-two years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem one year. His mother was Athaliah, a granddaughter of King Omri. Ahaziah also followed the evil example of King Ahab's family, for his mother encouraged him in doing wrong. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight, just as Ahab's family had done. They even became his advisors after the death of his father, and they led him to ruin. Following their evil advice, Ahaziah joined King Joram, the son of King Ahab of Israel, in his war against King Haziel of Aram at Ramoth-Gilead. When the Arameans wounded Joram in the battle, he returned to Jezreel to recover from the wounds he had received at Ramoth. Because Joram was wounded, King Ahaziah of Judah went to Jezreel to visit him. But God had decided that this visit would be Ahaziah's downfall. While he was there, Ahaziah went out with Joram to meet Jehu, son of Nimshi, whom the Lord had appointed to destroy the dynasty of Ahab. While Jehu was executing judgment against the family of Ahab, he happened to meet some of Judah's officials and Ahaziah's relatives, who were traveling with Ahaziah. So Jehu killed them all. Then Jehu's men searched for Ahaziah, and they found him hiding in the city of Samaria. They brought him to Jehu, who killed him. Ahaziah was given a decent burial, because the people said he was the grandson of Jehoshaphat, a man who sought the Lord with all his heart. But none of the surviving members of Ahaziah's family was capable of ruling the kingdom. Queen Athaliah Rules in Judah when Athaliah, the mother of King Ahaziah of Judah, learned that her son was dead, she began to destroy the rest of Judah's royal family. But Ahaziah's sister Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Jehoram, took Ahaziah's infant son Joash and stole him away from among the rest of the king's children, who were about to be killed. She put Joash and his nurse in a bedroom. In this way, Jehoshaphat, wife of Jehoiada the priest, and sister of Ahaziah, hid the child so that Athaliah could not murder him. Joash remained hidden in the temple of God for six years, while Athaliah ruled over the land.